Hey everyone, welcome back to SudoTech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get pretty much any Autodesk piece of software for free by using a student license. Although I don't talk about it a ton on this YouTube channel, I do do quite a bit of modeling and rendering and animation with Autodesk programs such as Maya, Inventor, and AutoCAD. Now, if you don't know much about Autodesk, they create software which is pretty much the standard in the industry for all types of CAD work. It's really nice that they have this way for students to get a free license so that they can learn how to use it and see what they can do with all the power that the software gives them. So I'm going to be showing you how to install Inventor Professional, which is one of my favorite pieces of software. It's great for designing small parts and components, so we're just going to be doing that. But you can use any of these things here, so there's Maya, there's AutoCAD, all these kind of things that are really great, and you should definitely check them out. Just keep in mind that they are fairly large, so you won't be able to install money if you don't have a large hard drive. You need to create an account or sign in. I already have an account because I downloaded this quite a bit, but I don't actually have Inventor on my system yet since I recently reinstalled Windows. So let's go ahead and sign in. Now that we're signed in, we can go to the Download Now button, select the version, which I just go with the latest version, which right now is 2018, even though it's only halfway through 2017. The operating system, which for me is Windows 10 64-bit. And for me, the language would be English. Um, yeah, but if you speak German, then go with that or whatever. Once that's done, it'll show you the whole file size, the product key, and all the license information that you need. So just go ahead and do install now. Now here you can accept this, and it'll go ahead and install this web installer file. This is not actually the full installation file. It's just the installer that'll install the installer so that you can get all the Autodesk components. Just click yes when it asks you, and it'll start the installation process. After it finishes loading, you can go ahead and click install on this computer, and it'll start downloading and installing the software. It's pretty much a matter of clicking next at all of the prompts, and then you should be good to go. You may have to restart your computer, so go ahead and do that, and you'll have Autodesk Inventor, or whatever software you chose, installed. 